Hello and how are you? My name is Mahindo Mubarak and I will come here to our 13th video of creating a complete inventory management system. As you know, we always do 40 minutes, so I'll restart our clock and then we get started. So in the previous lecture, we were able to master all our tables, okay? All our tables and you can see they now look much more decent and now in this lecture, we are going to see how we allow the company to be able to edit their company profile, setting their currency that they are using, and also maybe, um, and then after we go ahead and try to master the dashboard. So in this video, we are going to finalize at least the dashboard uh, basic requirements, and then the next video, we can go ahead and now get started with what? With the mobile application by creating the API as well as uh, starting the what the mobile application itself. So, without much say, let's go ahead and get started with our today's business. Uh, so, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to allow the company to edit their what their 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 their, their profile. But uh, there are more things that I think we need to add in the on the company. We may need to add on the what on the company. There are more things that we may need to add on the company table. For example, not all companies are going to use the same currency. So we may need to allow the companies to do what to add their own currency or to edit and, and put their own currency. Okay. So let's go ahead and see how we can add that. So what we're going to begin right, I mean, what we're going to begin with is uh, to do what? Uh, to uh to, to to what we're going to do right now is to add one more column in the in the company or to add some columns for settings and then after adding those columns uh, we go ahead and uh, and uh, and implement the logic of allowing the company to edit their what their profile so let's go ahead and go to our system Inventor track, and then come here to the companies here. All right, so I can come here and copy uh, these, uh, these what? These columns, okay? And then after, uh, we go ahead and uh, see what things that we're going to add on these columns. All right, so let's begin by just copying the company what the company name the company's table name so they can be able to add on that so to do that we shall just simply go to our important commands so i always make the command so i'm going to put here maybe add uh currency to so that is the name of the command that we're going to run and then put here the table that we're going to change so that is the command that i'm going to run so i can add the currency feature to the table so i'll open my second terminal and then i run that okay after doing that then i'll go ahead and open the what terminals here all right so at this level i'm going to go ahead and put the currency okay so the currency is going to be string and then i put currency so i can put maybe usd by default however we can allow the company to do what to change okay and then you can maybe make it nullab as well just to be on the safe side all right i think that's it okay so the next thing that we're going to do uh we're going to allow the company uh to allow allow the, the to set a few things for example allow the the, the the worker to add a product or not add a product or to view the product something like that so you can add there some more column settings so you can put maybe that settings and then put maybe uh the first thing uh worker can create stock item so that is the first setting so can worker create a stock item okay that's the first setting so the company will be setting yes or no uh -huh. so the next thing is like um can worker create a stock record okay that's another thing can work create can worker create stock category okay so that's another thing 
uh, can we have create a stock subcategory i think this subscribe category can be as one okay so another column that we may need to add can work uh, create a financial period so all those are settings that you may need to to give uh, to the company so i think up to here i don't need this one category can just keep it there so can put here can work a view stock stock uh, uh stock we can work view uh balances so you can go ahead and put can work view balance okay so something like this if you want the worker to be able to view the balance or not and then also we can add another column can work uh view the balance can work view balances so this one will help uh, whether the one can view the balances or not but i think that's it you can add as more settings as possible me i'm just giving you like uh, the concept okay so can work view statistics so you can put that one can work view statistics so the company should be able to decide where their workers should be able to do these things or not so all these things we're adding them to the what to the company uh to the company um table so let's go ahead and run this command they call the migrate so php artisan my great so in my great and i can see uh those things have been added to the what to the company table uh so let's create an endpoint that will allow the company to edit their profile okay so we come here to our controller okay so already have one let me come here to important commands remember we already have the first controller for the administrators to add a company or something like that but we have safe side let's create a separate controller for the company for where they'll be used to what to edit and then in that controller we shall remove what you don't need the company to be able to do so you come here and put uh, company okay so I come here and remove this one company so i can put maybe this control be company edit okay and then the mode is going to be company by the name of the controller is going to be maybe company edit so this one done for that we shall expose to the companies to be able to edit their profile so i'll go ahead and uh, copy this and then i run it clear that and then I, I run it so i'll go ahead and cut cut this uh, endpoint then go to our routes so i can come here and put companies but you can see already have companies on top there so i can put here dash edit so i can see maybe companies edit so that's one that we're going to make available for the companies to be able to edit their 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 i mean their company informations uh so after doing that the next that we're going to do is now to upload video right now as we are finishing this all right so here it is so we shall go to our super admin module and then this super admin module we are going to come here to our what to our to our menu and then add that so it's going to be under system configuration okay and then you put here company company profile or company settings okay all settings of the company uh, so here we go ahead and put maybe settings logo i mean icon and then put here the url that we have just created which is company's ed edit and then we make sure this one is only accessed by the what by the company owner the one can do what you can change these things so after doing that now if you come here and refresh you should be able to see company profile okay or company settings uh, so the first thing that we're going to begin with is now to limit uh the company only to access their what their company's profile so i'll come to our company edit controller this one here and then come to where there is uh, 
part where there is a grid and then come here and the uh, batch create okay so this is since it is for the company it's, it's, it, i disable the create button i don't want the company to be able to create okay so because it's going to be the company so they are not i don't want to be able to create other new companies all right so i'll go ahead and uh, do uh the limit so i can get the person who is logging say where i use it goes to uh admin user then i limit now since this one is a company i'll just simply put a uh, model and then i put where the id so you are now in the column of the company i mean in the, now in the fetching from the table of the company so i put the id and then i point at uh sorry you can put comma you can put maybe uh, an array and then put uh so i have put here maybe i have put here uh where companies go to what where 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 I then go ahead and say model, then say id equals to company underscore id ah, like this. So this one's supposed to be a bracket. I think. I think that is okay now. Yeah, I think that's okay. Let's try and see. Refresh. So you see, this one is only seeing their companies only. They cannot see companies for others. All right, let's go ahead and remove this id. It's not necessary for them to see it. The data has created, it's not necessary for them to see it. The data has last updated, it's not necessary for them to see it. Uh -huh. So another thing is the company owner. They don't need to see that also. Uh, is the what? Another thing is the name of the company. You can, can let that one see it. The email, the logo. Uh, so you can put this one as a what? As an image. So they can be able to see their what? Their respective logo. Okay, so I can put maybe uh, 50, 50, like this. All right, so another thing, the email, you can let them see it. You can let them see their website. You can, let, you can hide their about us. Okay, so the status, you don't need to show them that. The expiry, you don't need to show them. Can you need to show them the expiry? <laughs> I don't think. Okay, you can show them so that they can be able to know how to do the budget. And they plan when to pay next in case we are charging for the system. Uh, address, we can hide that one and maybe just display phone number. And then these other settings, we can just remove them here from the table. We can just swap with them from the other side in the form. So the company doesn't need to show this. So if I refresh, now everything is okay. So let me disable batch select. Disable batch actions so if i do like this the batch actions will be gone all right so the next thing that we're going to do is now to allow the company to edit their profile all right so now there's a problem you can see here they can even be able to delete so i want to remove this button of delete so to remove this button delete you just simply come there here and copy get the grid and then say actions uh -huh. so you see actions and then you do this and then say disable delete this uh, so i can leave only and edit view okay i can leave i can disable the delete button i can also disable the what the view button so it should only be edit so the company will only come there to edit so you click here see the button of edit only so when you click on edit you want the company here to edit some few things not everything but edit a few things on their company all right so let's go to our form the company should not be able to change the owner so i remove that one the company should be able to change their name that is okay so i can make this one required so i put here rules and make it what uh required the email the logo so this logo is what has an image so just they can put your image they can change their logo uh they can change their website they can change their about us so this about us is it in quill did they implement the quill i'm not sure they have not implemented quill <laughs> all right so about they can change their about us 
So let's just put here text instead of text areas. Can change the about us. They can change the email. They can change the about us. They can they cannot change the status of the company. Uh, they cannot change their license. Uh, they cannot. They can change their text area. They can change their phone number. They can change their phone number too. They can change their PO box. They can change their color. They can change their slogan. They can change their Facebook URL. They can change their what? Their Twitter URL. I can put maybe here the divider where they're not going to set make the settings. So put here to call divider and say maybe settings. All right. So if I come here and refresh, everything should be all right. Okay. So they can change any of this information, and uh, now the remaining is what the settings. So I can come here and make the currency required. So they have to change the currency and make it required. So the currents that they use uh so the next thing is the uh settings okay uh settings so i can put here can work or create new items so i can write the right question I can say can can work or create stock item so uh, by default i make it yes uh so it's going to be a radio and then you put yes and no Like this, okay. Okay, so if I come and refresh, now I can say it, okay, but I can create or I cannot create. Okay, so I do the same for the remaining. I can just duplicate this guy and then come and change this one. Can work, create stock record. Can work, create stock record like this. Okay, and I have to remove this one. Come and put this one. Can work, uh, create. Can work, uh, create stock category. Yes and no. Yes or no. I remove this guy. And then come here. Settings. Can work, uh, view balances. Okay, go ahead and set it and then another thing is can work uh, view statistics mm -hmm. refresh everything should be right so you can see here there are buttons here where someone can still use to delete so i think you can disable those ones i think those are what you call tools yes i think it's tools i think for copilot to disable them for me it's becoming too slow my internet is so slow So I've disabled that. Uh -huh, I think now you cannot be able to edit and delete. Uh -huh, and then you can also go ahead and disable these ones. Continue creating. Disable. Creating check. Disable. Editing check. Disable. Reset. I think that's okay. So I can also disable the view. Alright, I think that's okay. So the company they can go ahead and set their settings. 
and then they can change also their currency UGX submit everything is okay company can come and change their logo So, company can as well change their what? Their logo. So, you see, their logo is there. That's beautiful. Okay, so I can use that one even to put on their reports. All right, so that's it. I think that's it. That's enough. That's enough for the company. We still have 20 minutes to do what to master the dashboard. I just saw going to master the dashboard very, 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 very fast without wasting much time. Alright, so to mask the dashboard, there is this what you call Laravel Laravel admin widgets. Uh, let's see quick widgets that we can do very very fast and see how we wrap up this dashboard here. Alright, so uh, let's first determine a few things that we need to put here. Um let's first come here and determine them for example what may you need to, to put okay so for example you can put maybe so the first thing that you may need to put uh this week sales uh -huh. what next can we need to put there uh, uh what else can we need to put there i can put maybe the total number of employees Okay, then we can put maybe uh, we can need we may need to put uh, what else shall we need to put there? I want okay you, you okay the way how you have to do it the the right way you have to come here to each module here and determine what you need to fetch from each module. Okay, so for example in this financial period, okay in the from the module of financial period you may need to know okay the sales of this financial period, the law says whatever you've made. So maybe you can okay get in a uh, financial period. Um, financial period. Okay, I think sales and losses. All right. So so here we shall get sales and losses. Uh, here we shall get the um, employees number of employees shall we need to display it okay let's display it just for the sake of and then here as uh, uh, store categories uh, so what can we need to show here in the store categories um best uh, store categories okay stock cards so you may need to show the top selling the best and the worst performer okay uh, so we may need to show that uh, so subcategory we may need to show uh, running I mean in stock okay subcut stock subcategory we may need to show those which are running out running out of stock And also we may need to show um what 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 we may need to show best performer and we need to show also the worst performer uh -huh, so that is a stock subcategory but whoever you can look into any and see how which more information that we need to show on that board uh -huh, so in stock items stock items we can show maybe the recent stock items okay uh recent stock items what else can we need to see what can so can we need to show in these recent stock items i think that's okay that can be enough uh -huh. so uh the stock records 
uh, we can show here recent sales recent sales uh, this week's sales today's sales that will be fetched from what uh, from stock record so recent sales can be in the list okay so i think uh, yeah, those can be enough uh, so now we can also maybe go ahead and draw the percentage of um, uh, sales by week so that can be a graph and also maybe um uh uh stock stock categories by what by percentage okay so this can be a pie chart okay so you may just think very critically and know how many things i mean which things uh, need to be displayed on the dashboard okay uh, so uh some are going to be numbers some are going to be lists as others are going to be what others are going to be charts okay so let's see what the best that you can do so that which which one do you need as numbers okay this week sales that one can be numbers okay i can say maybe sales that one can be numbers this week today's and the uh, so can put for this week and then today's sales and then what else can we need um uh maybe that is okay for the numbers uh the employees count so we can put maybe maybe for this period okay i think that's okay All right, so this will be numbers or how else this one can be employees hmm. i think let's see let's see the best that you can do out of these ones okay so this week sales today's sales all right i think that's okay employees recent sales that should be a list uh-huh this one already recent uh-huh so this one will be a pie chart uh stock subcategory running out that's one here that are running out this one be a list okay so they have to have two lists okay you have two lists you have three numbers this one can remove it mm -hmm. yeah we are trying to design the data with the dashboard <laughs> don't think that you are wasting time we are designing a dashboard let's put just a star here all right employees that can be a number okay shall i need to show the net worth okay i think this is okay this i can begin with this one so this so i have how many numbers one two three and then maybe i can put the net worth i can put maybe in stock okay the net worth of the the company the in stock i think this will be for numbers and then here we can get like lists uh recent lists lists and then um yeah this can be enough all right let's, so let's let's get started with the dashboard let me save this one now important commands so i can be able to reference it even if we don't finish it today let me just come and put it here so let's begin the dashboard so laravel has what called widgets so these widgets you can use them to do what 
uh, to display things here on the dashboard so if you want to display the dashboard something in the dashboard you'll have to come here to the routes uh, you'll see what you call home controller this home controller so this home controller it comes laravel it's the one that uh, has the data that is displaying on what dashboard whoever you can change one to join the what you want to show in the home controller and you can change as well um, put another ui if in case you want so this is the home controller and displaying something from the method of what of index so if you press control and p control and p and paste their home controller you'll see that this home controller is under laravel admin under our controllers and the home controller is here so in this home controller you can see things for example this word dashboard uh you can see you can change it here so let's say that i want to greet someone who is who has who has who is logged in so i can say maybe someone is logged in go to you admin news and then i can say i can go ahead and say uh hello and then i go ahead and put here uh, the name of the person who is logged in so you can see here if i refresh you'll see hello then the person who is logged in and maybe i can put the name of the company okay so if i come here to let's say you have user and then if i come here to user i can put the company where they belong to have we done that logic i think not yet let's go ahead and do the logical the relationship of the of the company so i can come here on the user and put what called company and then i say company and say this person belongs to company using company id so by coming here i can just simply come here and put for example company name and then i say dashboard okay and then say for example here company and then i put the name and then i put uh dashboard okay something like this so here you'll have ah, sorry it's supposed to be admin so if this one is not that then me that uh, laravel admin we have not said that you should fetch the data from the user mode so to do that we have to come here to config you have to tell the laravel admin to be using the user mode as the, its mode of authentication so you'll have to come to config what is uh, configuration come to admin and then come to where there is uh, user so instead of putting this user model instead of using putting this user model you go ahead and put so let me just comment this one i just duplicate and commit it so for just for the feature reference in case things don't work i just go ahead and put what you call a uh, user like this and then put user class okay so make sure this is important so it will make sure that it always reference user as it's what as it's user so by doing like this now I'll be able to mm, name on null. Think all right. Let's first see. Yeah, so that's how you set it. Eh? And let's first see if uh, we're getting the right. So let's go back to home controller and see if we are getting the right date the right table. So I do DD and I come and I see admin users. So which model is it? It should be the admin model right so anyway let's get the company of someone who is logged in is it supposed to work like that <laughs> i don't know why if we modify this one admin it is supposed to work all right let's see let's get the person who is logged in the company of someone who is logged in so company is goes to company and then say find and put company id all right so let's just simply come here and put company id that should be working yeah like this so you see company one dashboard so you are able to do what to modify that there may be a dash so after doing that, um, 
the next thing that we're going to do, I don't know whether this will survive. Okay, yeah, it is survived. All right, so after doing that, so the next thing that we're going to do is maybe to greet someone who's logged in by using this sub description. So you can go ahead and say maybe, um, hello, and then put someone who's logged in, display their name here. So if you come and like that, hello, someone who's logged in. So now these things, the title, you can remove this row. So things are organized in form of rows. So I can remove this row. So by removing that, it means that we shall not have this thing of good morning, whatever, we have removed it. So if you want to remove these ones, if you want to remove these uh, lists, you can go ahead and uh, remove this environment thing. Remove this one. So if I do like this, it will be able to do what to remove all that. So things are organized in form of lists and columns. So if I come here and refresh, you'll see everything is... Uh, has been has disappeared all right so i'll go ahead and say maybe i want the row of three three so 12 divided by three those are going to be four rows all right so in our first in our first box here in this first box okay so we have now here some box that i can put content in so in our first box i want to put here the box that is going to count um, uh it's going to count our employees okay so to do that i'll just simply come and uh create a box of a widget and then this box of widget there are things that you can set on it okay so you just simply come here and then say box like this so it's a box and make sure this box is being in, imported from widget as you can see here so like this there is also another called box info eh? info box i think that's just another widget okay so import the widget for uh, the box from the widget then you put here the title of that box and then here you put the content and then you may you, you decide whether it should be uh pend uh removable or it should be collapsible and the style okay so since we are using the right style i can put here maybe danger i can put success uh so to show that everything is okay so if i come and remove refresh here that box will not show okay because i've not decided to show so if I want it to show, I have to append it, okay? So if I want to append it, you have to append it on the column, okay? So I can say this column, and then I say append, and then I put that box. So if I do like this, you'll see, I'll have this box that is even removable, where someone can be able to do what to removable, remove it. So if I don't want it to be removable, I can remove these ones, and then it will not be removable. I can remove even the style. If I don't have the style, I can remove even this one if I don't have the box, okay? So you can go ahead like this. You can go ahead and do what you want to do in this particular box and then do it and uh, paint it. Okay, so you see, this is uh, just a simple plain box. Uh, so if you don't make it solid, it will be like this one. We're having something here in uh, top as uh, a color. Okay, so I can make it solid and go ahead and attach the style of what of success. So I can remove this white box and I come and attach it here as well. That is okay. So I, if I come and refresh here, you see, everything is beautiful. All right, so here I want to put now employees. So I can come here and write the word employees like this. So if I come and refresh here, you see that we have employees there. And then after, I can change the content inside here. So if I want my employees, so I can just simply say u equals to uh, user uh, where where company ID is got the company of someone who is logged in. You see, and then I say count. Okay. Okay. So I get the person who is logged in. This is how you get him, and then I say get their company ID. So I get the person and then the account. So instead of just putting this, I can just come and, and put it here like this. So by doing like this, you see, I'll have this. So I want these figures to be big. So if I want it to be big, I can surround them with an H tag. So I can as well put the other what? The HTML. So I can put H3. So you'll see these figures will be a little bit big. Um, this H3 is too, 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 too. <laughs> It's just wasting my space. 
can I add here some class and I put for example uh, p0 or m0 I don't know m0 can that work in this bootstrap it's not working this is a very big small figure but it's wasting my my space I don't know how I can um, do that should I write CSS here that's not good but I can write it so style and then I can uh, go ahead and write some some few CSS here just a small CSS okay like this so I can just go ahead and uh, I can just go ahead and do my normal p tag okay h3 and then go ahead and put um padding i mean okay i think it's margin 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 to zero setting of space yeah see it has reduced the margin so i can say maybe text uh right uh text right i think that's okay so it should be like this i can go ahead and increase its font size uh font size and make it maybe uh, something like um uh, 20 let's see 20 pixels right, i think let's make it like um uh, 40 pixels so it can be really a very big number yep and then i can also maybe increase its what its weight font weight and make it maybe something like uh 800 rem 800 yeah it's that big so i think that's that's okay so maybe i can keep also maybe the danger color if i want to maintain so i just it was necessary for me to have to write something like that Right, so that is okay uh yeah that's okay All right, so you can do the, just that the first counting so the next counting is going to be the what else so um we have uh we have so we have put the employees so i can put maybe today's sales uh today's sales okay so i can go ahead and just duplicate this box and then I calculate the today's sales. So I can come and put here today's sales like this. I can just simply say sales. Uh, okay. So you see. Second, we stock record. Put it. So stock record where company ID is equal to the person person who has who is logged in. Okay, and then you get the total. Okay, so this is how you get the total. And then I think let's see what we really have in stock record. Stock controller. We have here a column called total sales eh? so this is total sale so the one that we're going to sum up so i come back here and i sum it up okay so this total sales is what i'm going to display here so i can just break this one down so it cannot be a very long line and then i put here total sales so i can go ahead and now do uh what number format number format sorry money format or number format money format like this huh? is this money format or number format number i think it should be number number format here yeah. and then put total sales inside there so we'll have something like this all right so i want to put here the currency so i can go ahead and get the currency from the company so i'll get the company 
settings so let me put them here Right, so let's make them put them here so i get the person who is logged in and get his company and then i come here and display the currency uh in front or behind some use in front some use behind so you may need also to make that one as a setting okay so that's why you needed that so we come here i have currency ugx that uh-huh so i can uh -huh. so what i'm going to do right now i don't want it to be down here i want it to be next to this so to do that i think um so this is a column huh this is a column how can we make it just next to it not so it's a column okay so i think we just need to to just duplicate this row okay like this okay so i'm just going to remove this one from this first row and then i'm going to remove this one from this so i think that i think that will solve the problem so we add this to we add this column to what this is a column you're adding it to a row so that's how you do it eh? i think that by that it will come to the next okay so they're saying the total sales are not found watch so this one's supposed to be next it's supposed to be in here yeah i think that's okay now if i come and refresh yeah i think that's okay so you can see how i've done it so the column that you do it that you duplicate so you can see how our dashboard is getting shape okay so you can see today's sales you are able to see the sales that you've made today something like that so go ahead and <laughs> and finish the remaining ones uh was think that we shall finish but our time has disappointed uh the time is not enough so i challenge you to go ahead and finish uh so you have to put here the limit of days put the limited days okay just limit the days okay so i challenge you go ahead and put um this week sales uh the total sales you go ahead and put the stocks i have to go ahead and put the list you see the list like like that like that that was like the one that was there originally okay so go ahead and put that kind of a list okay so this has what we call a table you can put a table of these items put them in form of a column okay if you still remember that list that was there originally go ahead and add it there of course the example is also already in the what in this laravel admin so go ahead and put there list so in the other videos other videos i'll put also the graphs but for now the videos the time has not allowed that allowed us but at least you can get the concept and you can see now our system is getting what it is getting uh shape so i challenge you to do the remaining things uh now in the next lecture we shall now go ahead and see if we can create some dummy data and also uh, go ahead and start creating our api after creating the API, we go ahead and now create the what? The mobile application. So make sure that you don't give up. Make sure that you don't, uh, you, keep, you keep following our what? Our, our tutorials as you practicing and learning. Yeah, so that's it. So you see, this is our today's sales. So it means that if I come here and come and make another sale, so I can, let's say, okay, I come to stock record and select, for example, uh, this ice cream and say maybe sell and they say maybe uh, five pieces and then the, I mean some details you see how creating a record is very simple and then put near yeah, the number of units so I can put maybe uh, 20 pieces uh, available there are 90 pieces there they are what there um let me put 30 so put 40 so you see here they are around 200 90 250, 240 pieces i mean 290 pieces pieces so if i come and submit now you should be able to see when i try to create a new one and you will see that they are now 250 now you can come here to system uh this record should be able to do what to increase by the respective amount and also the quantity should be able to do what to reduce a certain come stock record that record should be able to do what to show up here 
So that city can now see the whole system is now starting making uh, sense. So when you create a mobile application and we integrate it together, you'll see like uh, things are really becoming what? Interesting. And then you should also be able now to see uh, notifying here stocks that are running out on the what? On the dashboard. All right. Uh, see you in the next lecture where we're going to do what? To start creating the API. Hope you'll not miss. Goodbye.